Well, it's been a very long time since I posted a video. Today I'm talking about the monkey tail cactus. This is a cutting by itself. These are three separate cuttings. These two are rooted in. This one is still taking a while to establish itself into the soil. So today I figured I would go over basic care for the monkey tail cactus. So these guys require soil that's well draining and slightly acidic. I basically just used a cactus soil mix and added extra perlite to it for the drainage. Um, for acidity, there's other ways to add acidity to your soil without worrying too much about what soil type you're using. But if you don't have cactus soil on hand, I would recommend making your own mix. They also prefer warmer climates, but they don't require direct sunlight, they need bright indirect light. Now, this was one of my wishlist plants. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'll put my tag in the video, also below in the description. I had posted this guy on my page and I've been meaning to make a video on it. I'm in the plant groups on Facebook and someone was kind enough to give me not one, not two, but three cuttings of her mother plant. And these aren't even cuttings of her mother plant, they're actually pups that came from the plant itself. They're related to the rat tail cactus and dog tail cactus, but with these guys you can actually touch them and they're fuzzy, they won't hurt you. If I could get a close up. They're very fuzzy, they have no pricklies on them. So if you're gonna propagate your monkey tail cactus uh, from the mother plant itself and there are no pups, you can trim or chop a piece off of the end of the tail. If you're gonna do this, you need to let the cuttings dry. You need to let your cuttings callus off like this. And sometimes it'll help if you have a rooting hormone. This one has rooting hormone on it to help the plant establish itself a little bit better and quicker. Now, when you go to plant your propagations after they've dried, you want to put them in the soil about a centimeter in. I kind of made like a little divot here. It's still not establishing itself just yet, but that's also because this is on a very weird angle. Now if your mother plant has pups, which these are pups from the person who gifted them to me, you're gonna remove them about the same way. You want to make sure these guys are at least two inches long before removing them from the mother plant. All in all, these guys are pretty easy plants to take care of. But it also depends how you do with plants in general. There's some people that have plants that are easy for them, others that are not. The monkey tail cactus doesn't really require too much care. It's not really too hard to care for. And with that being said, that'll be it for this video. Nothing too long today, just a quick video on my new wishlist plant that I have gotten. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you want, leave a comment down below of wishlist plants that you've gotten recently. And make sure you're subscribed for any new videos that I post. I'm in the midst of bringing all my plants in before it gets too cold out, so it's been a long process, which is why I haven't really posted too much. So hopefully soon we'll be back on track with more videos. Once I get my plant room set up, I am actually turning our guest room into a plant room. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.